What the fuck is happening? Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right! Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Is no one going to take our order? It's been, like, a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. You really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. I'm glad we did this. This? This lunch. Wait. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candidate of Safi. Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive-aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked, is all. Oh, so... so I asked you out? I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So, I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit! This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? Shit. I was working. I get total runaway train tunnel vision sometimes. 
I'm so sorry. Ah. The old I'm a serious artist excuse. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming and whatever caused it. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead world. This is so fucking crazy. It's just so sad. Do you know if this is that? No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only, I know you. If you sent me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right, next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. Love you back, babe. Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to line up my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one day. Besides, letting our guard down now is proper. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Is all of this for that Krampus party? Who's performing? It's for the Krampus roast. Aw, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. 
Nice to see this place gearing up for Christmas. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <sighs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Sophie. Is that your car? Charming, right? I found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with the Volvo instead? <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but... Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Arati. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would. <laughs> hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um... That's an extremely specific question, and I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah. I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean... The Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. Maybe... Do we really need to lure him outside for this? It's December in Vermont. I told you it can't be inside. That's a safe zone. Taking the bathroom key was like a really good idea. Did you see how? Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Uh, yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. 
you're using it? Yup. They are definitely up to something with that key. Not that they're going to talk about it with me standing here. I should use my power to look in on them. From oh, that's just dead you know, world. A doorway to dead world. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. So he comes out to get the bathroom key, and we shoot him? You're doing good so far. Then what? Then nothing. Then he's out, and we're one step closer to the prize button. What about the girl? There'll be time for her later. Just focus on him for now. Oh, shit. This must be that big assassin game all the undergrads play. They're using the bathroom key as bait. Doubt they'll just give that up. Where else could I get a replacement key? What? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invo- <laughs> Tim, the key's back. Thank fuck. You're welcome, dude. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? No Christmas decorations on this side. There she is, safe and sound. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh 
shit. Did Lucas throw this through her window? That seems even less likely than the Abraxas kids. Maybe they were in it together? This doesn't make any sense. Fuck, I need to think. What is going on? My... How could Vin mix me up with Safi? What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler. Save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I should cross over and see if he's around. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just going to out themselves. Now, if I were a bovine vandal, where would I... There's Vin. If it was Abraxas that stole the cow skull, they might have done it on Vin's orders. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable? Never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Hmm. 
the snapping turtle looking for volunteers at the Lakeport Soup Kitchen? Amanda really is the best. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Hallerton House at some point. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Score! Diamond a gazillion points. Reggie zero. It's like an ex Phil. They have our man and he knows too much. Hey, hey. shh. Huh? You know, if you want to ask Diamond out, I can introduce you. I'm 70% sure she doesn't bite. How about I put in a good word and you tell me what Ven's missing? Good talk. There has to be some way Vin I can see what they're really saying distracted. without them catching me. Whatever he lost must be important. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess, if that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign, and he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. So, how do you keep things fresh after literal deck? Uh, it's freezing. I can't believe Art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. This is a work of art that came from a strange and tortured mind. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. 
Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Ben's lackeys aren't in. It's because of her facial hair. She's too unlucky. I'm not sure why. Well, if it's a passcode, Diamond can probably find a way into it. Ah, shit. Good point. Holy shit. Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Get us out of the Braxis. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. So, was it you? Here I was, thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not- And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the Typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to... Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues? I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday, after seven. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. 
That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute. And at least a little tempting. But that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? I didn't say that. No, but it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. certainly seemed performative. And anonymous. What would even be the point? Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa. Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. <laughs> She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen.
Damn, talk about a green thumb. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. You would never do... what, Gwen? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh, you're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Um, Dr. Hunter? This is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and... I just wanted to check up and see if you're alright. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Drink up, buddy. This thing looks older than Caledon. If Sophie was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? Busy woman. These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Sophie, but I didn't realize she was this involved. So Gwen is asking questions about Sophie's death. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Dr. Hunter. I appreciate your condolences, you know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. 
There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get the call from Vin later today. Hey, babe. Just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. <sighs> I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search. Sent. To Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book cancelled? These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I thought Gwen helped Safi set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. Time to head to the Fine Arts Building. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could keep... Back to normal. Were the assassin kids here? Would have thought the library would be a safe area. And not even a thank you? Rude. Dignity restored.
Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say- Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I've never... I understand this crime involved a biohazard. One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice, and I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. Any more work on that proposal yet? I knew what happened to Safi would have ripple. I. Wow. Just. Wow. Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. Maybe I was a little rough earlier. With everything going on, I just... I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? It's hard to miss. Yeah. That ought to put butts in the seats, huh? Here's hoping. <laughs> the standards for the expo have really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses. Um, 
before his class. Good luck with the book expo. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Dare I channel my inner Chloe? No. How exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Oh my goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your... something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker. Huh. The devil really is in the details. The infamous cow skull. I feel like it's haunting me. Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Yeah, not you, Lucas. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the Snapping Turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now, satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? park where he wants anyway. Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... 
Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean, where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen. Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine will let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but just give me a chance to get this shit in order first, without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Sophie. But, oh, what if it's not? Okay, I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Hope Ven's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just that was good luck finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. 
Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> a Braxis shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. Uh, can you just... I don't know. Uh, I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Fucking shit. Oh, oh, Max, <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me? How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Sophie? <sighs> Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Everything is about Sophie nowadays. This isn't about Sophie, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Ooh. Yes. Hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just. They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey. Any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right. Of course. Jack Parsons. Surely this place has a book on him somewhere. Going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. Okay, encyclopedia. Do you have a certain occultist rocket scientist for me? No Jack Parsons here. Okay, let's see. Magnetism, cold spots, lack of fauna. Do I have to spell it out for you? You're describing every paranormal phenomenon ever. Jack. Come on, show me Jack Parsons.
pretty sure Myvin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. So, history of the occult seems... This must belong to someone flashy, and forgetful, and cold. Hmm, not totally sure how to read these, but I don't like the look of that tower card. Very macabre chic. But I guess that's Ben's brand. A Krampus of your very own. Looks like Ben takes it black. Wow, Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. Aw, what a cute little guy. Huh, this one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food picks? Food pics, mirror selfie, mirror selfie, shirtless mirror selfie. Sophie. 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 There's a lot of Sophie in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow. That is really close. Who even were you, Safi? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. Hey, looky lose. Fuck off already. Can you run and get him some water? <sighs> mm. 
You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> it's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me. Walking around. Working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him. I fucking ran, Max. Uh, did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers. This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Oh, be right back. Oh, shit. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Oh, right Alex, now. you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? The bigger the art project, the more of the path it blocks when it falls. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. This is my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Is, is this from some other timeline? Jesus, fuck! You've got to be kidding me. Do you think it was a student who didn't like their final grade? I doubt it. Usually those kinds tip me off with an angry, poorly written email. So, do you know who did do this? No. Jesus. Why does it feel like Gwen's always got something wild going on? No matter what timeline I'm in. Hey, Gwen. No, thanks. Well, for me, then. Now might be a good time to bring up Sophie's book. Before I came out, 
had this boss, a free thinker, who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. And a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted? Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is... I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? <laughs> that wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their mind. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! To Caledon! To Yasmin! And to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Safi's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... she told me, but not why. Jesus. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw.
Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll, too? Something like that. By the way, I appreciated your help with Reggie. Oh, that? It was the least I could do. Reggie's a sweetheart. Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? No. He said he saw himself. Another Reggie. God. That would have messed me up too. I was going to come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but seeing Reggie like that, I don't know, made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the B cops let it slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second I'm a source, and the next I'm a fellow investigator? <sighs> Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern, maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. I got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera. I know. Moses, why did you- It 
wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up. Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Coffee. Sorry, I don't think we've been introduced, Mr... That's Detective. Detective Vince Alderman with Vermont State Police. I'll be handling your friend Sophia's case from now on. I'm sorry for your loss, by the way. Moses and I already spoke to police. Several times. Max, it's okay. And I'll be speaking to Mr. Murphy quite a bit more today. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. Okay. Name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like, something I keep blocked away? Yes. Yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe. Moses Murphy, rule breaker. Rule bender, Max. Rule bender. Anyway, what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses? You need me to hold something, or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. I can't get over how busy everyone is in this timeline. Did I forget what normal life is like? These are cute. Moses' sister must have visited. The maker of this mug sure knows her target audience. I 
thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. <sighs> what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no. Were you two up all night? Yeah. And I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of... all of this. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. Better give this wrench to Mo- So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's- Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. I didn't know you had an artistic side. Long dormant. Comes with being the only scientist in a family of artsy-fartsy types. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. That's still annoying.
Damn. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Hmm, it'd be better from another angle. I don't remember ever seeing an actual safe in this office. Moses and Safi. So different, and yet so well- I bet Moses covered his bedroom with these as a kid. Oh, will it distract you if I talk? It should be fine. What's up? Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. Moses was so excited when this came out. I think he bought seven copies. They're safe. Is the camera around here on the other side? Right, because that would have been too easy. And they're safe on the lower left. No camera. Must not be the right safe. Come on, Moses, where did you hide it? Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her.
Safi was going to help put up the ornaments. I can do it for her. It hurts to look at this. Moses said living on his own for the first time was harder than the astrophysics. Aw, Maggie's cute. They're all cute, really. Oh, to be a tiny plant in a vial, protected by a team of high-tech androids. On a good day, that 3D printer would be making all kinds of cool stuff. Maybe Moses was thinking of safe when he drew this? At least Moses hid the camera well. Wherever it is. Was that you? I thought I heard something. Moses was so excited when this came out. I feel like I understand this now. Maybe I've gotten smarter with age. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. The mural. Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. The wonders of modern technology have rendered us a turtle with a gun. Worth it. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true anymore. Hey. That's pretty noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. The mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it up there. What the hell? Did I just...
Okay, let's try this again. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit. The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What?! Moses... Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, 
if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Sure. Of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about. Look. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Wait, is that... Wilder Beasts Than These by Lucas Colmanero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Oh my god, Max. How many of these movies are there? It's a horror franchise, Zoppy. They don't get good until at least the third one. The real horror is that they found a way to make three of these. Five, actually. So, is this the one where they finally explain how he's still walking around with no head, or...? Before she died, Moses was more Zoffy's friend. Here, we're all thick as thieves. Wish we'd had a chance to get to this point in our world. I need a bit of space to examine the clues I've gathered. Hey, can I move those pegs? Hey, something just happened. It sounded like a panel popped open. disc with some symbols. Where have I seen this before? There has to be somewhere to pop this in. Well, well, well. Max Caulfield, you clever minx. Wait, does the outer dial move now? It does. And so does the inner one.
This means I'm in, right? I'm official Abraxas material? Oh, wow. I guess I haven't been home in this world for a couple days. It's like a time capsule of the day Safi died. Weird. It's been a minute since I exhibited in a gallery gallery, but Dr. Preston was excited about working together on something next year. Moses is waiting for me in the other, uh, world. My dark room here is empty. I bet the coffee table has enough room for my evidence. I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. With Safi alive in this timeline, I, I don't even know what to put here, if anything. We took in a little liquid courage before the bowling alley shoot. Safi's insistence, well, mostly Safi's. I loved telling Safi how the lens can totally change your perception of a subject. I loved that she didn't need me to explain why that was powerful. Okay, Max. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. Let's see what we've got. Gee, it sure will be a... This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? 
While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I know Vin and Abraxas are entangled in everything that's happening. I just don't understand how yet. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. But there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. Guess I understand now why Gwen was so adamant about getting her book out of the case. I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. This was meant to be a loud. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing all right. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous about seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I apologize for what I said to that detective. You have to know I wasn't being serious. I was only trying to- Take the easy way? It's nice when you have that option. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Sophie again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... That... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. Let me explain. Or try to. Well? There's another timeline. Where Sophie's alive. I've been there, and I've seen her. 
Wait! I can prove it to you! You stay the fuck away from me! <laughs> 